Star Trek Prodigy. It is season one, episode 15. Its title is Masquerade. Okay. Don't know what that means. That'll be David Bowie. Oh, yes. Let's do it. And we're not escaping anything else until we get our nacelles fixed. But at least we have O'Connor. Oh, I think Murph gets used to his new body. We're getting used to the new Murph. Why is he a lightsaber? <laughs> actually damaging stuff? I guess so, yeah. They're, oh, okay. Oh, they got him in a hamster ball. East, for someone who's been on our ship for such a short time, it stings that the crew's taken to him so quickly. He's charming. But I get it. He's I a mean, competent adult. He knows who he is. I'll find out where I came from. No. No, don't leave. He's dreaming about stuff. Yeah. I'll allow it. <laughs> it could have the parts we need. I love his oh, mullet. And while there, Half mullet. One we're facing our own Kobayashi Maru. As untrustworthy as the Romulans can be, we're finally... Who is he meant to be? He looks like Jellicoe, doesn't he? Not to enter the Sounds like him, too. Even to redestroy the protostar. It said Jellico at the bottom. It said his oh, name. okay. That's cool. fun. I thought he was going to say Jellico out to, like, button it, oh, but he's like, okay. I don't need to. No, you have to recognize his voice, or you lose. That big pointy thing is the only way on or off that rock. A space elevator. Oh, it's like rise? Elevated. They're doing things here that the Federation can't or uh, won't. All in the name of pushing the boundary. Get Charles down there. <laughs> it's so You sad. brought Murph with? <laughs> okay. I'll bring out the best in you. A geneticist? I've been reading about that. Just, just well, leave him alone. It never goes well when you, you hang out with the geneticist. You're the same color as your building. <laughs> So am I. <laughs> I'm white. <laughs> Leave Murph alone. Who is this beautiful oh, specimen? Go to that one. You can mess with him. <laughs> whoa, whoa. You know where I came from? Not where. He's genetically modified. You said that. You're the handiwork of the protégés of Dr. Eric Sung. What? A geneticist who defected from the Federation. You, Ruff, mentioned you think he was an artifact or a, a modified thing. I don't know if you remember that. I don't. You remember it because you edited these <laughs> videos. So I don't have any parents? There is no one else like you. That's cool. Right? Crushing loneliness. <laughs> Very cool. Yes, oh, they're actually low. That, it's that's a good. fast, simple procedure. And no one will know. There's a Romulan yeah, thing in it. Cling on. One, yeah. He's gonna Bolana's baby it. Don't Bolana's baby it. <laughs> Just how fast is this procedure? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. I honestly I I bristled up because I was thinking of it. the Soong in Picard. <laughs> Who was interested in? Oh no, no! It's an enterprise where they establish. Wait. Yeah, because he he because he was doing stuff with the eugenics people. Like... Well, hopefully it's him, so that they can still delete Picard but... and keep this show. But... Well, cool. They're referencing the right shows. The they're, correct shows. They're not going to be like back when Romulus blew up because uh, everyone's retarded. A red crystals in mushroom <laughs> space. Okay. <laughs> <Play>. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. God, you need to read the novels, the Enterprise novels. I always got the impression the Romulans had more or less free range of the neutral zone because they were always the more... Like, at the threshold going, get out of here! Yeah, and like, the, the shot opened with like, the warbirds right in front of Janeway's ship. Yeah. So it's like, so they're, well, yeah, they don't care. Are you feeling better? The best. It's gonna be annoying now. What? There's nothing worse than a confident middle age or middle uh, school boy, <laughs> or a middle aged boy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, just cocky people suck. Go back, shit. Huh? Making fun of retards. It's refreshing. I mean, we just were. I know, but you don't see it on TV much anymore. But like, Alex is punching up, which I'm okay with. <laughs> She doesn't even know what it is. Poking it. Oh. Oh no. Try to throw one on her. Oh, okay. Oh no. They scattered her matrix. Oh, they're, they're pulling at 09. Was it the first one that did this? I, I group all three of those movies and I just call them 09. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, they're like littlest pet shop toys. <laughs> Something's not like right. Have... His little weird ganglia yeah, twitched. Please. Is he gonna be like uh, from Discovery the dude with the ganglia twitch when like death was coming? I haven't seen that, so <laughs> hopefully not. Did anyone think to pack a phaser? The captain comes with Because really that dumb? <laughs> They're gonna think it's O'Connor. Yes. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you think he's the captain? So you're not that smart. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, now that you've all found each other, I think <laughs> I've overstayed my welcome. Good luck. I like him. That'd be me. <sighs> Did he just he really slinked away quick. Oh, Murph's twitching out. Whoa. What? Does he have nanoprobes in his blood? <laughs> the battle is in my blood. So he can just call on the genes he wants? Ha, a better me. Okay. He grew facial hair so quick. Murph is trying to say something. Let Murph out. He's going to kill everybody. Oh. Darn glass elevators. Yeah, interesting how some of them go faster than others. <laughs> I know, right? Well, on Rise, couldn't they control the Ascent and Descent? But you think they want to go quickly, they would also just unmax. Right, yeah. You're going to be okay. You're indestructible. They always have a rock size helmet. Maybe my super DNA can help. Oh! What is that? What is that? That's pretty gross. That's pretty bad. Well, you made Murph puke. Right? And he's just puke. <laughs> it's like on a, the Orville. I was going to say, yeah, it's blood. that blue alien. <laughs> That thing can draw, can like stop a disruptor. It didn't look like it should, cause it looks, it's like not a solid sheet. <laughs> I know. It's... Quinn, drop your heirloom. They're about to board us. Trust me. What was the point of that? Was oh, she the... saw a lightning bolt coming? I guess. And that was. I'm confused. So the lightning didn't hit the giant lightning rod, it hit just the other side because they were <laughs> holding a piece of metal up high. They're gonna go into space though, and they don't have full suits on. They just have like helmets. Admiral, you can't stand down. Dang, that Janeway voice scares me every time. Yeah, Murph's got something going on. He knows what's up. What? Whoa. So he's still totally OP. He's, he's, again, a tw the best crew member, I said. When did he learn all these moves? He's never had a proper body <laughs> to, like, learn... Okay. Yeah. Yes! All right. Yes, we Who didn't I blow anything up. <laughs> She's evil. I think I got spoiled on her on accident. What? Yeah, I was just trying to see who did the voice of her, and I saw something that I think is a spoiler. Uh, oh, that's why you never look into anything. <laughs> I just wanted you to look at me like you look at O'Connor. You're not a mistake. Definitely not doing that now. <laughs> oh, and, oh, sweet. I was like, you guys oh, are going into space. You're going to need to be okay. blocked. So he's, he's still, still stretchy, yeah. Gumberculies. <laughs> I am Groot, or whatever. No, let him keep those. Yeah, it's just the teeth that are bad. Give him a ball he can get out of on his own if he needs to. Right? We're running out of time. Dreadnought, activate. Don't spill the tea. Spilling the tea, girl. Yeah. I literally one episode away I got spoiled. Okay. I went to look up the character name and it showed this and I'm like, um, that's not her. She did oddly have the similar face shape. So. Uh crazy. Yeah, I was wondering. I literally closed it so quick when I looked it up and saw that picture. And I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, maybe it was just Gwen. <laughs> I saw a picture of <laughs> But then I was the whole time, I'm like, darn it. But at least it didn't spoil something at the end of the season. And I'd be very mad. Oh, right, I didn't right. live with it that spoiler too long. Next episode. Uh, Okana. All right, so is he just off the show now? That's too bad. He did slink away quick. But it is, I guess, everything about this episode was very much like stepping stone feeling. So it's like, oh, we're all learning things. Like, I guess Dal, <laughs> Dal, Dal I is a genetic abomination that shouldn't exist. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was ready. It's funny because I almost, when we were preparing to do this, I was going to jokingly say something about like, well, I just want Janeway to just 
kill off all the main characters, and then it can be about her. And then she almost did that. <laughs> You're like, oh, what do you know? <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, th- this one felt like, uh, what you know, we used to have the luxury of in the olden days when it was all episodic. This felt like it didn't move a whole lot. It, they're literally in the same position pretty much they were at the end of the last episode. They know they're each other in the same vicinity. Only thing we learned is that he's genetically modified. Right, now, yeah. And uh, that Murph knows kung fu. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> got to see Jellico. Yes. Oh, well, I mean, the thing you got spoiled on. Yeah, that's a pretty big development. That she's evil. But she said you're not the only one that got sent back in time, so she's clearly had time to, like, insinuate herself into Starfleet at a pretty high level to be working with Janeway on that ship. Well, she ship. is just an ensign, but obviously her performance is good enough to be working directly with an admiral, she had not to go th- even, like, a captain. Yeah, she yeah. clearly had to go through Starfleet to be on the Dauntless class, which is still a pretty new ship. Oh. And she had Dreadnought. What, what happened to Dreadnought? I can't remember how where we last saw him. I don't remember But he's either. living in her coffee table. <laughs> <Apparently>, <laughs> he just, I, maybe he's a future one that was sent back with her. Yeah. It's weird because it was the same thing that Dal he had? got. Yeah. And it's like, well, they're doing very different. I guess they're doing the same thing. That one was repressing her whatever genetic code was. Well, but there's the thing is... He, I, well, I don't know. I don't know because he had every one of those genes in him, and it could just express certain ones. Usually, like in the good old days, they would still have to go to like sick bay and get like made over to look like something, and then get it removed. But she just has like a push button, which seems if you're a deep cover agent, that seems like something you don't want just yeah, on the back of your like, neck. I went to my regular checkup, and my doctor asked, "Why do you have <laughs> this genetic?" modifier on your neck like oh nothing because she was the chick that she was on a uh, she hulk she was the dumb other super oh. villain chick oh is she the girl from the good place i don't know she was the one that was like the other super villain yeah yeah i think and she was she was on an episode of poker face and i was like well, she looks really familiar how do i know her and i looked it up from poker face mm. and then it said that she was on she hulk like, oh she's that chick from she hulk and then it said Star Trek Prodigy. I go, what does she do? And it said Essencia. It just said her name on, on IMDb. And I was like, I think that's the end but I'm not sure. So I literally went Star Trek Prodigy, Essencia, and it was that first image that popped up. And I went, oh, no! Man. What's going to happen next? I don't know. Um, They're going to get out of the neutral zone. Good, good plan. Good plan. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>